When your 48 inspects traffic using different ports, different protocols, it has several options that you can enable or disable according to your needs. Let's look at the most used configurations for protocol options. Firewall protocol options can be accessed through the graphical user interface in policy and objects protocol options where you can create new profile to your uh, protocols of choice but it is limited with features so we will use the CLI so here we'll use the config firewall profile protocol options that's just sorry for that there it is now let's just name a new profile edit HTTP and from here we can actually edit different protocols the uh, first one is HTTP FTP and so on let's use HTTP and if you will use the show full config you will see the different options now let's pay attention to some of them the first one is the ports you can change the port number the second thing to look for is the oversize limit that is the in-memory buffer currently it is 10 megabytes that's the default but you can change it it actually depends on your 40 gate RAM remember that usually malwares and viruses are less than 10 megabytes so don't pay too much attention for the oversize limit the second thing to look for is the uncompressed oversize that is in the case that the file that is being sent as part of your traffic is actually being compressed so your 40 gate will check in the header for the compression algorithm if it has a password then you have an issue but if it doesn't have an, a password then your 40 gate will actually decompress it the uh Next option is the uncompressed nest limit. That is in the case where the files are being compressed and then they are being again compressed and compressed. Your 40 gate will support up to 12 compressions, but again, you can change it. It all depends on your 40 gate RAM. Another thing to look for is the streaming content bypass. Currently it is enabled, but you can change it to disable. The last option that is important is the comfort interval and the comfort amount. When your 48 inspects in proxy mode, the connection may actually time out. That is due to the uh, scanning time that it takes. So your 48 will actually send packets to your clients and keep the connection alive. Now you can control the interval of packets and you can control the data size.